Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Minecraft Guide episode. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be building a very, 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 very small. Let me just say that very, 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 very small. Uh, honey farm. Uh, we're only going to get a few uh, different chambers for these guys, and we're going to basically call that good. I do have a lot of the supplies that I need currently in my inventory, and quite frankly, yeah, that's really all that I needed. And I got completely lucky because I was just kind of out and about, and I found a couple of these items, and I decided to just grab them because I needed them anyway. So let's kind of like show you guys what I'm talking about here. So in my inventory, we actually found two bees nests. One of these was actually from like my first, first, or maybe even second episode. And then the next one was actually, I was flying to one of the other players that plays on the server with me to their base. And I noticed the bee and I, Figured that a bee's nest had to be around there somewhere, so there we go. I found it, and that's pretty much what I needed. So these, I believe, both have bees in them. We're going to find out. I'm not going to, like, release them until I know for sure. But we're going to breed them up, and I'm going to make a little bit um, of... I'm going to get... I want... Specifically, I want just the honey blocks. I don't really need anything else, but I am going to get a few of the honeycomb... So that I can actually create beehive and then eventually this farm will be moved um, you can see that I've done a little bit of changes on top of the hill so just to give you guys an example this that's gonna be that's build height and that's how high my my far or my 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 base is my main base is actually going to be and it's gonna go from all the way over to there it's gonna come out to there and go all the way over and it's gonna go back all the way so you can see that this is the front that's going to be the front of the entire build it's going to be the far side of it and then it's going to go all the way back to this end right here so you guys can imagine how big that is actually going to be it's not going to be a giant square by any means but now you guys can actually see how big my build is going to truly be that's all said and done so a lot of this will have to be removed, which is going to be unfortunate because I wanted to try to keep a landscape as much as possible. So I'm going to try to minimize it, but it's going to go all the way down to this level right here. So anything at this height is going to be flattened or raised, basically. You can see that all the way over there is, um, it's lower than what we anticipated or I anticipated it to be. So that's going to have to be raised up a little bit, which is perfectly fine. And then, yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at. It's a big build. I really, really wanted to keep this mountain here, and I might be able to because it's going all the way out to this area right here. And this, like, these are the furthest points of it. So I'm going to try not to take this mountain down. That's the goal, but anything that's like floating like this, I want to like get rid of. But I love like this cave. This cave system is cool, and I might actually dig this out bigger. Maybe have some type of giant creature coming out of it at some point. We'll kind of see. Um, I've got some major plans, and I can't wait to show them off to you guys. But I'm just not really ready to release what the build is going to be as of right now. So... Uh, I, but I can't wait to actually get it established. But as soon as I build my first building, which is going to be built right here, I think you guys will know exactly what it's going to be. And I do plan on building it fairly, fairly soon. But in today's episode, oh, it's kind of funny. They, he must have gotten rid of all the, uh, the grass in this area for me, which is kind of funny. Um, but there we go. So this is where we're going to be building the farm today. It's going to be really, very 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 small however what we want to do is um i want to show you guys exactly how to build it it's super super simple and then the other thing that i'm going to do is i just want to talk a little bit about um the server for just a second you guys you guys are really big into minecraft and you guys want to be able to play minecraft with me or with a group of people that are part of a member only server then 
make sure that you guys join and that those that is in the description and down below uh you guys can click on that little join button and you guys can participate in the server with me and actually check out the buildings that we're doing and you can actually participate and be involved with some of the videos that i make and all of that so there's lots of fun opportunities if you guys would really like to be members of the server or just be members in general so i would definitely appreciate if you guys would consider that and especially becoming a higher member so that you guys can play on the server here with me we're just going to go ahead and put a block behind them so if this is the bees hive we're going to separate them and i think what i'm going to do is i'm only going to do four of each and then they'll be separated by a glass area then we'll have another four like sitting there so what we're going to do actually we need to come out like this where it's going to be sitting and then what we're going to do here is we need to put this set of four we're going to put observers on the back observers facing up then we're going to do um blocks like that that's pretty much it the only thing we have to do is put some redstone um right here because we got uh, the dispensers that are going to be facing downwards so let's actually go ahead and do that now downward downward word downward and then this is going to be into um the actual uh bees hive then what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put some hoppers in here we're going to face it i guess this way so i'm just going to clear out all this and then we'll just have them going down into like the same area and we're gonna go like that as well go right there that works for me and then we're gonna grab our hoppers go there and then we're just gonna attach them on i hope i have enough hoppers for this if not i'll just have to craft up some more oh perfect Beautiful. Now, if we want to put more hoppers on the top, just so we can add a chest on them, so we don't have to fill it up all the time, that would probably work out just good as well. Then the other thing that we want to do is I want to put some water back here because this will actually um, help with um, keeping. Let's see, what we got. Uh, we do. Yeah, we can put actually the water right there nice all right so i need to grab myself a bucket of water um we're gonna go ahead and surround these all the way around and then we're gonna go out to here and actually what i should do is probably get rid of this one and we're gonna cover that Over, I guess this area right here. Whoops, dude, you need to get out of here, buddy. Why? Why are you hanging out here? Please go away. All right, now for this side, we we did that first side already. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our comparators and we're gonna go comparator. Oh my gosh, dude, you need you guys need to leave. You guys are annoying please move all right so we got that wow gosh if i hit you i'm gonna be so upset these spawning issues are a pain in the backside like big time pain in the backside and then what we're gonna do here oh come on these iron gold mechanics, I need they need to be changed a little bit back to what they were on 1.15 because this is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we got the dispensers that are going to be facing down there. Now, this is going to be honey bottles. This is gonna, uh, will allow us to actually get honey, like, um, honey blocks eventually. And then this side is going to be honeycomb. So just 
Know that. And we're gonna go redstone on there. One, two, three, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Gonna fill in this with redstone. And this with the redstone. Beautiful. All right, so now what we need to do is we just need to grab ourselves uh, one more bucket of water. And then these are going to be um, like regular hoppers, and that's what's actually going to fill into there. So we got four hoppers. So we got four here, and then we want to go hopper, hopper, hopper. And then that way these can be chests on the top of them if we want them to be going into there. And then what all we need to do is we need to actually till this area. And we need to actually grab some flowers. So I guess let's go grab these uh, dandelions over here. Wait, this is actually eight. Actually, you know what? I probably can just grab poppies from the uh, iron farm. But I did just con get them converting a whole bunch of I, I grabbed a whole bunch of them and put them through the composter. So unless we have some, but I can use those to, to breed up at least um, the bees really, really easy. Then we're going to grab out our netherite hoe which we haven't done anything with quite yet. We're going to till all of that. And then we're going to go ahead and put our flowers on those. Then let's grab our beehives. And we're going to put one here. But I want to cover this up so that they can't escape. Then I need shears in here. There, there, go two in there, two in there, two in there, four in there, and then I guess the last one there, at least have a little bit of couple shears in there anyway so that way it'll last nice and long then what we can do is we're going to throw in our other bees nest that we have right here and that area nice and instantly we actually got honeycomb we got three pieces of honeycomb just like that i think i saw three bees there but i only see one there which is not good all right, so I just made a modification, um, but it doesn't look like we actually got our honey. Get out of the way, you stupid iron golem. But I don't see where it actually went, but the honey is definitely gone. Did it happen to go up top by mistake? Ha, it did. So this is why we actually need to, need to spread these out a little bit. I completely forgot about that as well. That way it won't actually get sucked up into the top there. Spread these out a little bit so that way it's not uh, so full. But I would recommend filling these up as best that you possibly can. All right, we'll just do that now. Perfect. Beautiful. That works for me. All right, so we actually have one honey bottle already, which is great. And then we've got... I, I see that we actually have a few uh, well, uh, honeycomb that were sitting there just because we don't have enough. But we didn't, I'm definitely going to mate those guys up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab, I guess we can just put these this down here in the bottom. We already got, look at that. We already got six honeycomb and one honey bottle. The honeycomb will actually come in very, very, very fast. But let's just grab some poppies. Let's go ahead and eat real quick. Fantastic. Then once these guys come back out, we are going to breed them up. It looks like there's actually only... Oh, there's two there. All right, we're actually going to do this real quick. I'm going to go... And you. 
cover that back up and then that way we actually get a baby bee ah uh, beautiful then we're going to come over here we're going to wait for these guys to pop out because the baby bees actually can fit between the hopper and the glass so that's why i put another additional golem dude you are the biggest pain in my butt that i've ever seen in my life but they but the baby bees can fit through there so but once they grow up then you'll then you won't have to worry about them as 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 much either so once these guys come out we can um breed them up chew go protect the villager get away from me and then we can breed these guys up and then we'll just put the glass back on but that is our very 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 small honey farm which is pretty amazing it didn't even take that long to really build it at all and that was just mostly me just being unorganized at the beginning because i thought i had everything that i needed so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna spend a little bit of time off camera i'm gonna get more glass bottles i'm gonna actually gonna craft up some more shears and things like that and then we're gonna wait till we can actually get ourselves a few honey blocks and maybe craft up some more bee hives so that all of these areas can be filled up so at this point in time what i would like to show you guys is if for whatever reason you can't find any of the beehives or the bees nests in the world you can actually generate them forcefully um, this is the first time that I've ever tried doing this in a um, savanna biome so I'm not sure if this is actually gonna work because bees nests naturally will spawn in um, sunflower plains the plains and also any of the flower biomes so just keep that in mind but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting these here and we're going to be putting them right below like where these are at so we're just going to space them out by two skipping every other block and what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to put flowers right next to them and that should hopefully it's not going to happen every single time but it's a it's a higher probability make sure that that's at the right spot there and then we're going to put them Another row here and we're gonna grab our flowers and put those in as well I'm kind of curious to see if we actually get any beehives from this because I've never like I said I've never tried this actually in the savanna yet I've always for the most part I've tried this in the plains so just kind of keep that in mind so if this is more of a test if it doesn't work I obviously will let you guys know but that's how you guys can force those things to get grown well, we got a quick update here, and I'm actually going to make a little bit of a change as well. As you guys can see, I've got a decent amount of honeycomb. We've got 12 honey bottles, which we can make actually three honey blocks right now. But what I would like to do is I don't think I'm going to need any more honeycomb than this, and it's going to be easy to change it if I need actually a honeycomb. So I want more honey because I want the honey blocks specifically, and I don't know if I'm ever really going to use honeycomb blocks. That's at least where I'm going with this anyway. So we'll just have to see. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this side completely. So what I need to do is I need to take out the redstone here. Then I need to pick that up. And then I need to grab wherever the redstone is at. And I take this down. We're going to replace this right there. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our blocks and we're going to go there, 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 and there. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. There, 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 and there. And then we're going to grab our comparators, which I hope I grabbed my repeaters and not my comparators. That's my bad. So let's go ahead and do that. So we want comparators there. We're going to go here. Then we're going to go and dig this out just real quick. Stone, 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 stone. Dust, 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 dust. And no more dust, apparently. Wow. Okay. And let's go here. Then we're going to go block here like this. And then this is all going to be block here. I would I would I would much rather just have the the honey than anything and I'm just gonna go ahead and get quite a bit of redstone dust let's go grab that put that all along here and all along there and what I need to do here is we need to fill this all in with bottles as well that 
that. I don't think that would have cut anything off to be... Oh, did it work actually well? <laughs> it still does work, so you can actually do the same thing for both of them. You just have to replace what's in them. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, we don't need to sleep quite yet, I don't think. If I can make that jump, that would be great. Especially if anything comes close except for creepers, I should be okay. Let's grab out some of these bottles here. And we're going to grab the, grab the... Oh, there's a honey bottle. And I still have to fill these in a lot. With just regular bottles. But it does take it takes a lot more glass than I was actually anticipating, so that's but that's fine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw, you know, these actually we need to go like that. That I'm spread those around. And kind of like that. Perfect. Because like I mentioned, I think I would just rather have the honey bottles. Or, yeah, and then we can actually convert that into um, honey. Which, I'm going to use the honey more than I am into the honeycomb blocks. There might be a little bit of decoration I might choose to do at some point in time with them. But it only takes four honeycomb to actually get a honeycomb block anyway. And then after this, I'm going to check my trees again. And I'm going to see if... Um, if anything has produced. But as of right now, the last time I checked, we didn't have any honey or beehives or bees nests at the uh, at the site. But we can actually go over there right now and give it a check here real quick. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, yep. And it does work in the savannah. Look at that. We actually have a beehive right there. So this, So you can plant the trees in pretty much any biome. And um, you can actually get the can I hear a bee here. Oh yeah, I can. So this is at honey level zero. And then I'm actually going to go after the achievement. When this actually gets enough honey in it, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a campfire below it. Then I'll get the honey bottle from that. So I'm going to I'm going to actually going to work on that since I have that opportunity. But yeah, you can grow them in pretty much any biome. Um, I mean, test them out in your area to see if it works um in any area but they definitely work in the savannah and they're not supposed to actually naturally spawn here in the savannah so that's always nice to know so these bees have been really busy so i'm gonna go ahead and uh break that and we're gonna use a campfire to actually go ahead and get that honey out of there and then we can actually oh i need to grab um a couple more bottles so that's actually what I've been working on right now is I've been actually trying to fill up that other system. So I might as well just grab some more glass from these guys. I'm getting all my levels from creating glass. So that works for me. Because um, I need to enchant my a couple of my armor pieces and my sword and whatnot. So that's fine. I'm going to convert all of that in emeralds just real quick. Get some more glass there. Glass here. There we go. And one more. That's some decent amount. Can you give me any more? I can't wait till more of my um, my guys will start trading me glass. And I'm hoping that the next level will be at quite a few of glass trades. If not, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Otherwise, I might just have to get some more villagers and, you know, kill them and spawn them until I can get it. Because I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to end up using a lot of glass um, in the long run anyway. And if I can also get the book and bookshelf trades where I can actually make emeralds from that, that would be ideal as well. All right, let's go back in here, drop these off, and then we're going to go get that uh, that achievement. Put these into the chest. And then we'll get rid of these like that. And then we're going to go glass bottles. Perfect. That works for me. Then if we do a glass bottle, be our guest. We got a glass, got a honey bottle. Fantastic. 
got my fire back. Thank you for my fire. I do appreciate it. Okay, we got these bees roaming around the countryside, which is fine. I'm okay with a couple bees doing that. No problem. Actually put the honey bottle in here. And actually, I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, once I get one more, we can actually make some honey blocks. So let's go ahead and put in our... Um, our bottles here that we actually just got done crafting. Throw them in like that. And we'll throw this here. Grab this stack and throw them in here as well. All right, beautiful. Now all we actually need to do here is go to any of our crafting tables and, or we can actually just do this in our normal inventory. doesn't really matter. And I want six, uh, then we get the glass bottles back, which is awesome. So they are completely renewable, which is great. Throw those in there like that. And then what we can do actually do is we can actually stack up these honey blocks and we can actually get another achievement right off the bat. Actually, we're going to have to stack up right here. Oh, and that didn't work. There we go. Then to slide it down just a little bit, and we got the sticky situation. All right, well, I am very happy that we were able to get some honey blocks going forward, and this is going to help me out a lot with some of the future projects that I do have planned. Um, but the, there's a couple nice benefits of the honey blocks, just in case you guys don't know, is they can be used in redstone contraptions, and since they are sticky, you can't actually... You can't jump on them, and they can actually hold mobs in place. Like, you can't jump like you would on a normal block. You can actually hold them in place. And then when you throw items onto it, you know, like, like this will actually, like, pull items, like, towards you and whatnot. And it's slightly smaller than a normal block, which it's really hard to actually tell that. It really doesn't look like it is, but it actually just is ever so slightly even though it doesn't look like it's actually the same. Like, if you look at this and say, oh, it's yeah, it's the same size block, but it isn't. It's not quite the same size. And then you can actually use it for um, different areas in your build where you need blocks to be a little bit smaller and it'll let things go through. Like, we could actually put some... You could actually put honey blocks on, like, the top of hoppers. And then that way you can actually... Um, the hoppers will still suck the items through which is fantastic instead of um always having to use like dirt and then use a hoe on them you can actually use the honey blocks and things like that there's a lot of different varieties with them compared to like the slime blocks where the slime blocks will actually um you can use them for to push objects far away and then you can but the honey blocks kind of do the reverse where they can actually pull things you know and keep things sticky I hope that makes sense. But anyway, that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of the Minecraft guide. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, if you guys want to become members here on the server, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, any help with supporting me as a content creator is definitely appreciated. So if you guys love Minecraft and you guys want to join in on some of the fun and check out some of the builds that we are working on and what other people are working on, then make sure that you guys hit that little tiny join button and support me as a content creator. It would be definitely appreciated. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Just don't get shot in the face with an arrow. It hurts a lot. What is that too? Ow.